can't see anyone. father's uncle, his uncle Richard. How many times do I have to tell you you doze, Pot? Your father's sick uncle. A lot of them are sick. Too sick to see me, so they would tell me. I'd say, can I come up to see you next week, uncle? And they'd say, no, I'm sick. This is the really sick one, the one with the lump, the, um... But it seems that your father's uncle, Richard, has repaired to Rome. But with little hope of recovery. Is it... Is it the lump? And your father follows him with great haste. And I know why. Money. But we have the money my father sends us. Your father's money is not proper money. He writes. He says that he will increase our finances. <laughs> can... Can I read... The letter, he calls it reasonable and fair. But I don't think so. Not the way I expect to live. Does my father mention me at all in the letter? We only live the way we live because of pretend money. I realise that. With that much I, I realise... And as quickly as we come to a place, we have to go. Having spent the money, we only pretended to have. And I refuse to live my life like this anymore. So do I, Mother. Never left anywhere, except in the dead of night, the first dawn. Never made a friend that I knew that I would keep. We could be an eternity in the same place, Edward. It would make no difference to your hopes of friendship. But proper money, that would make a difference. To have back the life I once had, before your father discovered the terror of my ways. My father must have mentioned me once. In that letter. Your father goes to Rome to follow money. The only answer is to follow your father. If Rome is like Paris or Cardiff, I'm not going. Very well, then. I'll go. <laughs> 